John here. I want to give you a little better demonstration of Parallels Desktop 3.0, which is right here. And what that does, it lets you run Windows XP or Windows Vista, and I believe Linux too, uh, in your Mac environment. And all Parallels does, it gives you the ability to run Windows. Uh, it does not install Windows for you. To do that, you need to buy Parallels, and you also need a full install of Service Pack 2 for XP, or a full install disk for Vista. So once, once again, Parallels does not give you Windows, it just gives you the ability to run Windows. You have to provide the install disks on your own. So let's open up Parallels here. I thought this would be a little easier for you guys to see with the screen capture program than a while back when I just had the video camera. And again, the little uh, red clicks that show up when I click my mouse is just from my screen capture program called Screenium. It's not from anything that happens on my desktop normally. So it opens up Microsoft Windows XP. I have this particular drive titled Backup. You can partition as big a hard drive space as you want. Um, I believe I gave this 12 gigs and partition how much RAM you wanted to use. My computer has 2 gigs, so I gave this a full 1 gig to use. And then all you do is you hit play right here. Start Virtual Machine. So we'll hit it. And you'll see your very familiar Windows boot up screen. I'm sure you guys know what that looks like. Um, this runs very smoothly. I've been extremely happy with Parallels. Everything I've needed to do in it, I've been able to actually hardly ever even use uh, Boot Camp anymore because I can do everything in Parallels. Very handy. So here it is. Here's my Windows environment here. Move my mouse around. And if I move it out, then my mouse right here is in um, Mac OS X. And right now it's back in, back in Windows. So it looks just like your regular Windows computer. You know, you can click start, close it, start, close it. The nice thing about it is you can actually drag files back and forth. So I could take, you know, this folder and I can drag it right out. See that? And now it'll be in my Mac environment or vice versa to make it a lot easier. Um, you know, it's very nice. I can drag stuff, you know, right in and it'll be right there in Windows, um, which is extremely handy. Um, something I didn't even know that I could do until I played around with it. So, you know, like I said, just your standard uh, Windows environment. You can start up Firefox, you know, just like you would on any other Windows computer, or you can install Word, Excel, or whatever if you guys want. There's the Firefox updates. Um, haven't used this in a couple of days. And you also have the ability to go full screen, which is nice. I'll show you guys that. Um... File, there's a shortcut for it. I forgot the shortcut is though. So let me find that for you. View full screen. There it is. Full screen. Pretty cool, I think. Um, now I've got just a full on Windows environment. It's just like I'm running Windows on my Mac, which is seems a little strange. Um, you know, but it works, which is nice. Um, you know, I can still get my. Uh, taskbar down here if I want to, which makes it very handy if I need to open up a program um, as well. Let me move my single window here. And there's also a really cool, there's Firefox opened up, a cool thing that Parallels has called Coherence, which allows you to run both uh, simultaneously, which is pretty neat. So let me show you that. Go to View and click Coherence, or you'll disappear for a minute. And now I have my standard Windows Start Bar in addition to my dock down at the bottom so I can open up any program from right here it'll open up in Windows and at the same time so let's say I want to open up uh, a particular program so games so I want to open up hearts so now here's hearts it looks like it's running right in Windows um, and if I wanted to open up what's a Mac program I can open up for you um, I want to open up my system preferences you know, there they are, running simultaneously, side by side. Um, it's really handy. Parallels is a great program. Um, highly recommended. You know, I think that it's a great compromise for when sometimes when you have to run Windows, um, which I'm finding is less and less frequently. Uh, less and less frequent. So, just a real quick overview for you guys on Parallels Desktop 3.0. Highly recommend it. Um, quit that. Um, anyways, and that's it. You know, Parallels is a nice, solid program, works well, and uh, highly recommended. So, also,
few more things I want to show you guys. Well, I got a couple new videos coming up, so I'll save all that for another video. Um, anyway, guys, here is Parallels. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.